Hello there, fellow Scorpios. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast. This forecast is for the week of November 18th through the 24th. Happy birthday to all my fellow Scorpios who are having birthdays this week. La -da 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 -da. Well, I am shuffling the cards. Let me remind everybody that I do offer private readings, either by phone or by Skype. For those of you who have questions about anything that comes up on these cards. And for those of you who have questions that you would like some clarity around in any other part of your life as well, I would be honored to be your reader. All you have to do is contact me with the contact information listed on the website at the bottom of the screen. Okay, let's take a peek at our cards, Scorpios. On Monday, we have the World card showing up. This is a card that shows that we are completing something, completing some kind of goal or target that we've been working towards that has been our ideal. So yay for us. On Tuesday, Eight of Swords showing up in reverse. This is just telling me that someplace where we felt limited or restricted, we are now breaking free on Tuesday. That's awesome. And then on Wednesday, we have the Queen of Wands showing up in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse is talking about a person who is um, dealing with some kind of situation that she doesn't know exactly how to break free from yet. Notice I said yet. This is a self-made woman. She thinks outside the box. She's really good at problem solving. So I feel like we're a little bit stumped on Wednesday, but I don't feel like it's game over. I think it's just time for us to go back to the drawing board and reconfigure something so that we can move forward. Now, on Thursday, we have the Ten of Swords showing up in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse just means that something isn't over that we thought was over. This can be a long-standing tension or argument that we thought was done and put to bed that rears its head again. This can also be a relationship that we thought was over and turns out, oh, wait, it really isn't, okay? Friday. What we have showing up is the chariot in reverse, and the chariot in reverse is just telling me that there's some kind of goal or target that we're trying to reach along with another person or another group of persons that is thrown a little bit off track on Friday. So even though it's thrown off track, that doesn't mean that it's gone away forever. It just means that there's some kind of obstacle or delay. Whatever it is that we're working on manifesting is still going to be coming in when this card shows up, just not as quickly as we thought it would. On Saturday, we have the Fool showing up in reverse. This tells me that there's some kind of situation that we began really as a leap of faith, not knowing where it would lead us. And we are having um, questions about whether we want to continue forward with this or not whenever this card shows up on Saturday. Um, the fact that it does show up in reverse means that we do decide to continue forward with it, but we give it great thought before we make that decision. Okay, so whatever leap of faith we started, we are going to be moving forward with it. We're not feeling like it has already uh, served its purpose or it's over. We're feeling like there can still be more good that would come from following through with this. And then on Sunday, we do have the Nine of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Nine of Pentacles showing up in reverse just talks about missing somebody and wishing that we could spend more time with somebody. This can also talk about not feeling like we have enough money to keep ourselves afloat as well, but I get a much stronger sense about this as being about missing somebody than anything else. Okay, so that's our week's Scorpio. Those of you who would like to have more clarity on some of these cards that came up or more clarity on any other part of your life, I would be honored to read for you. Uh, please contact me at the information listed on the website at the bottom of the screen and we'll get you taken care of. Usually I can get you in the same day, if not the same day, then the next day. Um, don't like to do long waiting lists for people who need readings. I think when we need a reading, we read, we need a reading right now. Okay. So anyway, that's that. Thank you guys so much for being here. I look forward to seeing some of you in readings and the rest of you. I'll see you back here next week. Peace out.